On January, I took a flight at the Beijing Daxing International Airport. It is so intelligent. Can you believe who was parking my car? A robot. I was rushing to my flight, so it has been a really great help. That time, I would never imagined that it was the only trip to the airport in 2020. As the COVID-19 spreads around the world, the nuclear acid testing has been put into spotlight. Is it unbearable? Expensive or difficult to get one? I took my test at our community. No queue, no pain, and totally for free. Next thing I want to know is that am I negative? To find out how to get a testing result, I dig deep into a lab. Well, it's more like a tent. First thing is to wear protective clothes for the first time in my life. I can't breathe under the seat cover. And was surrounded by suspected fluid samples. It was totally out of my comfort zone. Respect for all the staffs at the front line. And check this made in China automatic machine. It can process 192 samples in 40 minutes. That's why China can conduct the mass testing. And when looking back to the beginning of the outbreak, tech plays an important role. Can you believe that? With the help of artificial intelligence, it took only 14 days for Chinese scientists to get the full genetic sequence of the novel coronavirus. Considering it took months to identify that of the SARS virus 17 years ago, AI has really been a booster to build a foundation for global researchers in the fight against the COVID-19. Next miracle was the unbelievable speed to build up the Huashengshan Hospital in 10 days. It is full of high-tech elements, using AI convolutional neural network. CT scans of suspected COVID-19 cases can be interpreted in 20 seconds with 96% of accuracy. Wow! During the pandemic, I paid a visit at the AI facial recognition exhibition, and it totally light up my mood. Van Gogh can smile to me and do real-time interaction. How's that? Moving on to September, the International Fair for Trading Services was kick off in Beijing. And speaking of service, robots have been a great part. I stood on a six-leg spider robot, wearing a robotic gloves, and transformed into an hour woman in my own wildest dreams. Next big fair is the World Internet Conference. In the beautiful Asian town of Wuzhen, it gathers the most cutting-edge tech in the world. Check this cutie! In the future, you can walk a robotic dog on the streets and see that tiny spot far, far away. Using Huawei Mate 40, you can zoom in to see it so clearly, as if it was by your hands. See that port? It is so high, and that's me. Striving to climb up a 50 meters trembling scaffold. Just while I think I got acrophobia. Standing at the 50 meters high, we can see the busy port and the water stretching to the skyline. It witnesses the revolutionary changes brought by the reform and opening of the Pudong district. Basically, villages turned to a metropolis in just decades. The Shanghai Diamond Exchange is another style. This is the most expensive box opening that I have ever done. But how to earn money to buy diamonds for your girl? I paid a visit at the top global head hunting company to see how to get a decent job using big data tools. The Chang'e Five trip to the moon is definitely something to cheer us up at the end of 2020. From bedtime Asian story at childhood to a more than high-tech live streaming news, that's what we call the Chinese dream. And that is my year of 2020. How about yours? Leave your comments and let me know. This is Miss Wow. See you next time. Bye.